Hey everybody, Sam Burge here with another World Peacekeeper review. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the Ranger playset. So, taking a glance with all that he's got, this character comes with quite a bit of accessories, weapons, even in changeable hands, and whatnot. Um, I know when I did the uh, locker box set, I kind of compared it to the uh, Ultimate Soldier's combat set. But when I seen this set, I was like, well, this kind of could go head to head with that set to the uh, Ultimate Soldier's combat set. Just looking at all the accessories, seen the rocket launcher. That looks really interesting. It even comes with, uh, looks like, uh, rockets that you can put into the launcher and shoot them. I wonder how far this thing's gonna go because I know a lot of times with uh, toys, like with these, the rockets aren't gonna go very far because they're not meant to shoot as hard because people are worried about kids shooting these down their throats, their nose, their ears, and shooting their eyes out. So <laughs> I'm gonna be interested to see how uh, fast these rockets come out. There's the figure itself. Coming with what looks like a uh, different type of uh, M16. I mean, it's the regular assault rifle, it looks like, but uh, I don't know, it has some parts to it. I just want to really give a real good look at this because, I mean, there's so many parts to this figure, so many accessories, bits and pieces. So, this is probably going to be a really long video to try to show everything off and display it and make it look nice. So um, I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna take a look at the back. Alrighty, taking a look at the back. Um, these are the different play sets obviously that we can get. Just gonna kinda zoom, you know, kinda go through. Um, I got this one, the uh, Airborne Trooper play set, so Feel free to check that one out. And then this is the place that we have. Also on the back, it also lets you know that the hands are interchangeable, shown by demonstration. And it's not really a bad box to look at. Pretty decent sized box. Um, so the only thing I can really say is, uh, let's open her up and see what's inside. So there's a couple of things I want to talk about the figure itself, but um, I'm going to talk about mainly just the props that this figure comes with. Um, the first one being the uh, crate full of grenades. Uh, the crate comes with approximately 10 of two different styles of grenades and they go into this like little container thing with whole circles in them cut out for the grenades to fit on and then you just put the lid on and put it in this crate. Um, one thing is, is the pineapple shaped grenades kind of make it hard to uh, put the lid down all the way. But you can still shut the crate with just a little bit of force and it should just shut just right. But it causes a little bit of a bowing in the plastic because the pineapple grenades are a little bit too tall for the canisters to fully shut and be sealed. So that's one thing. Um, this prop, this character also comes with claymores. Uh, this is the second time I've seen claymores used for an army set. Um, I was pretty excited for it when I first seen it, but they're just like a rubbery plastic like prop. They do stand up. I mean, they can stand up on their own and whatnot so I mean I like them for what they're worth it's kind of nice to see a proper properly made prop uh, claymore than when I got the combat set because they were just rectangle pieces of plastic that looked like a claymore without the uh, little uh, sticks sticking out so they could stand up so I mean props on the world peacekeepers for doing that um, minor complaints I would say is uh, 
couple of the props kind of broke on me. That would be the um, backpack. Uh, I cannot unhinge it from the little metal piece that comes separate with it. So when I put this in the back, um, it's going to have to go with it because the little parts where it L's out and goes flat horizontally, um, it's starting to show some wear and tear and I was trying to see if I could pop it off because I wanted to see how you, you know, how easy it was to put it on, put it back off, but um, yeah, this is one of those props where it's like, if it requires it to be placed on there with a little bit of force, good luck getting it off. I went and try it. It's one of those, once it's on there, it's on there kind of deals. The uh, satchel that goes with the backpack, um, I'm not 100% sure how they were thinking you were going to be able to clip this thing on. It's kind of a pain. You got to loosen up the strap some to get to weave in and weave out to the loops under the backpack on the metal bottom piece and I mean it was kind of a pain for me trying to do it with just one strap and whatnot and I just kind of set it aside but that's kind of one of the difficulties you'll probably have with the uh, backpack accessories. Uh, now to the rocket launcher. The rocket launcher was pretty interesting to see. Um, it's not very heavy. It's a very lightweight plastic. Um, kind of hollow through and through. But you can put the missiles in the rocket and shoot them off. And they do go halfway decent, I'd say. Uh, yeah, halfway decent. But other than that, um, so the rocket launcher, it's a pretty nice accessory and whatnot. Uh, not bad on the paint detail, it's kind of got an olive green mixed with a black going on it. But I'll show you some photos of me or some videos of me shooting this rocket launcher off. So uh, enjoy that so you can get an idea how great this rocket launcher is. The figure itself is not too bad. All dressed up. He looks nice. Um, I think when I bought this from Amazon, this was probably a second generation figure because the box was a little bit damaged and the character is a wee bit loose in the uh, joints. But other than that, not, not a bad character for this playset. I won't understand why they made a Ranger playset, like call it the Ranger, when we already have a Ranger figure. So it's like, oh, I got two different types of Rangers. One's in a playset, and the other one is a uh, figure for a lineup. So, hmm. A little curious how that works out, but, you know, I guess we'll have to see when we get some more of these playsets. Check them out. But I'd definitely say uh, give this uh, Ranger playset a buy and see how you like it. I mean, it's not bad. I'd definitely say worth the buy. Definitely worth the bargain and whatnot. I picked this one up for, I do believe, uh, $43 for the whole playset. So I don't think that's not too bad. Pretty much half price of what the Humvee costs. Yeah, the Humvees are like $96 to almost $100. That's why I have not picked up one of the vehicles yet because I'm kind of leery on it. I've seen a couple of other reviews and I'm just like, is it really worth that hundred dollars, you know? But I'm sure in a future video I will order one of those and we'll, we'll, we will we re will review it. But until then, um, this has been the Ranger figure. Um, not a bad figure, nice setup. Kind of gave out what I liked and didn't like about it, but I think you all get the hint. I'd say it's worth the buy if you can get it a little bit cheaper than the uh, $45 I spent on it. Um, I'd say definitely give it a buy. I mean, at $45, I think it's just a little bit like, I'd say $10 more than what they're asking for. But other than that, it's not bad. It's pretty simple. So um, this is St. Burge, and have a nice day.